Hey everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to talk about Sjogren's. Sjogren's is another disease within the autoimmune family. Basically Sjogren's is when the moisture producing glands in your body don't work properly. So in Sjogren's your lymphocytes instead of fighting off viruses and doing what it's supposed to do like in any other autoimmune disease it decides to attack healthy tissue and the healthy tissue that it attacks in Sjogren's are your tear ducts, your salivary glands, any type of moisture-like gland, which is in other places as well. Some symptoms of Sjogren's include dry mouth, which can cause difficulty speaking. It also can lead to a dry cough. You're more likely to develop recurrent bronchitis or pneumonia. There's also dry eyes, dry eyes, less tear production, the annoying sensation that your eyes are just always dry and poofy and ugh, like something's in there all the time. With dry mouth, it can also affect your salivary glands like mine. I made a video about this, I'll link it up here, but I have swollen salivary glands and they do not work properly so I actually have to push them to make the saliva come out and it's yeah so it's, it's a lovely thing there's also an increase in cavities with Sjogren's due to the lack of moisture in your mouth producing moisture in your body is very uh, important other symptoms can also include joint pain fatigue muscle weakness, all those that are similar to other autoimmune diseases such as lupus, which I was first diagnosed with lupus and then started developing more symptoms like the salivary glands and uh, dry eyes, all those things were happening. I was just like, there's something else going on. There's no way, you know, this is from just medication. And I got diagnosed with what you would call secondary Sjogren's. So primary Sjogren's is when you are diagnosed with that first and you have only that. When you're in the realm of autoimmunity, a lot of the times you will be diagnosed with multiple diseases. The first thing I noticed with myself was the Renaud's, which is the blue tingling um, hands under stress and, and coldness, anything like that. Um, then I was diagnosed with lupus and just this past year, I was diagnosed with Sjogren's, which I'm pretty sure I've had Sjogren's for a couple years now, at least. Sjogren's does run in my family. Lupus does not, so that's an interesting fact. My grandma had Sjogren's. Um, my cousin also has Sjogren's, and then there's me. So to know whether or not you have Sjogren's, they have a specific test called anti-SSA and anti-SSB, anti which are antibody tests. Um, these also go for lupus. There's also rheumatoid factor, which can be a test used for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. And then um, positive ANA is another test that is used. Um, in order to fully diagnose Sjogren's, you will want to look into doing more testing, such as the tear duct tests that they do. Um, they also have a test where they can biopsy your salivary glands, pretty much the same medications that I'm already on um, that also treat so Sjogren's. Uh, it's more so just annoyances and like teaching myself to take eye drops every day, do them every morning, every night, to use a specific mouthwash, to use specific toothpaste, to get routine checks of my teeth, dry mouth. It's happening right now. I'm noticing my voice is kind of, it gets really raspy easily. I try to drink as much water as I can um, to help reduce that. Sjogren's has a lot of similarities to lupus as with the joint pain, the fatigue, uh, just everything that goes into it. It can also affect your liver, your lungs, your kidneys. Um, nervous system, all of that. So it's always good to get treatment and to make sure you're on the right track. Plus it's very uncomfortable. I'm at a point in my life where I've realized that uh, it's going to be uninvitable for me to develop other diseases and syndromes. It's going to happen. I think I've made it past that point where I've accepted all of that. And just the fact that, yeah, 
you know, I, I, I'm probably going to get this and this and this and this and this throughout my lifetime. But I just try not to think for, about it. I just try to more so focus on how I'm feeling and making sure that when I do feel a certain way, I go and talk to the people who care about me or my doctors or see if it's a real concern and not just me being like, I'm going to die. For those of you who are just diagnosed with Sjogren's, Hopefully you're on the right track to getting appropriate treatment and although it's it's not curable and yes, my basically I, I went to get these checked out and the ear, nose and throat doctor was just like, there's nothing we can do. So <laughs> it's just accepting the fact that I'm gonna have to live with this and um, a lot of the times with pain you do get used to it. Uh, unfortunately that's that's what uh, happens with these diseases. I hope you guys are doing well and please comment below any opinions, comments, stories. I want to hear it all. I love reading your comments. I have also created a Facebook page. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's at facebook.com slash livehopelupus. I'm going to be posting my new videos on there, of course, and then I want to do relevant information that is related to autoimmune diseases and I'll have some exciting things coming soon. So I hope you guys will check that out. I'll have my links below in the description and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!